It was the first women's shelter in Toronto. When it opened, how many beds? 22. 22 beds. And now? Now we have 50 beds. And that's sad because the, the need has gotten worse. First conceived by a local nurse in 1965, it originated as a drop-in tea room. By 1969, it was opened as a residence for homeless women. And it has housed thousands over the past 50 years. You know that they have a place to come where they will be accepted and not judged and, and fed. Is, you know, it means, I guess it changes their lives. Michelle came to Street Haven three years ago. Now she works in the kitchen. It was a safe haven for her when she had nowhere else to turn. They really changed my life. Um, I was a sex worker for most of my life until I moved to Toronto. And for the three years that I've been with them, they've well taken me out of the sex trade. They've given me um, housing. They've changed my life. It's a story that many of the residents share. Getting people off the street and into a, um, a stable environment. And um, I don't know what I'd do if it wasn't if this program and this house wasn't here. Because we are homeless, we don't have nowhere to go. And this is a warm and respectful area. And while it is a safe haven, it is not meant as a permanent residence. The problem is there's not enough affordable housing for these women to move on to. The women that stay here are mothers and sisters and daughters like everybody else. And they deserve the, the same respect and dignity that everybody else deserves. Street Haven is hosting an open house this weekend to commemorate their 50th anniversary and to highlight the ongoing need in the city. If you can make a donation, you can go to our website, citynews.ca slash extras. Audra Brown, City News.